Hey guys, back with Aurora. I figured I'd do it this morning for you guys instead of making that you, uh, you know, wait until uh, evening. Um, gives you a chance to see a little bit more, I guess. Uh, this concert has been absolutely incredible. Just incredible. Uh, so next up we have It Happen Quiet, another great song. Uh, so let's jump in, guys. Starting the day out with Aurora, and that is a good thing. For me, I'm still here. The next song I wrote for a long time ago. I'm very sad. Are you ready? Yeah. Multi-talented. You know, you can really hear um, the acoustics of all of this in the forest. Uh, it's not quite an echo, um, but you can hear it. Um, I can hear it. Maybe let me know if you can hear it too. So if we say the Nita Rosdaman concert is magical, I want to say this is mystical. Um, because it's in the forest, you know what I mean? Um, man, I would have given just about anything to be here at this concert. Um, it's like a once in a lifetime thing, you know? I mean, there are outdoor concerts and there are outdoor concerts. Uh, this is an outdoor concert. I mean, in the woods, uh, no other band would ever do do this or even probably think about doing it. Um, there's just one more reason that makes Aurora so special to me. Um, it's a great way to start off the day. I figured I would start this and get it posted for you guys early today. Um, just been busy with so many other requests. Um, again, with just a ton of awesome bands from Japan. Um, but this concert, um, I think this concert is probably my favorite so far. Uh, Nita Rosdaman, uh, close, but this is just so good. Oh, guy right here he's got earplugs in you know. um, dude you're outside you don't really need those outside <laughs> inside absolutely you gotta have them I had a PA system um, that I was using to do uh, guitar covers and I had to wear 
um, the cost of mirror plugs because the treble, the, that's the mid-range, um, that's what damages your hearing. It was so loud. Uh, but out here, I, I don't know why anybody would want to wear earplugs. Although I do see another, somebody else there uh, down on the bottom with earplugs. Um, yeah, that's an earplug. I wouldn't wear them for this concert outside, but I mean, the, the theater's just too large. Uh, so it's not, it's not like you're closed in. It just struck me funny as all. I used to have to wear those at a job. I had a job at a printing press and then have the green, those little green things just shove in your ears. strange to me outside you know um i've seen outdoor concerts and you know it's not loud like it is like on an indoor venue um like when i went and saw who was it, it was uh poison and slaughter in 1990 yeah i wore the the green little thing because it, it's just so loud in there the the hot excuse me the highs but I don't know, I guess it's their choice, but I just think the uh, the theater is too big to really uh, bother you unless you're standing in front of the amps or something. I guess most people were wearing them. I mean, nothing wrong with the guys. It was just, uh, you know, for me, I'm just thinking, you know, when you play something outside, even a loud stereo, it's nothing compared to like in your car or in your bedroom or something. So, you know, but I get it. People want to protect their hearing. Um, it's all cool. But great way to start the morning, guys. Hope you've had a great week so far. Weekend coming up. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, with more of this great concert.